deep beneath the frigid South Pole, at a depth of approximately one mile, rests a remarkable instrument known as the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. Its purpose is to diligently scan for minuscule and elusive entities called neutrinos, which traverse the vast expanse of the universe with minimal interaction with matter. In a groundbreaking achievement, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory has recently accomplished something unprecedented. It has successfully detected neutrinos that originated from within our very own galaxy, the Milky Way. This remarkable observation suggests that sources within our galaxy have the ability to generate these enigmatic particles, according to Ignacio Tabawada, a physicist and spokesperson for IceCube at the Georgia Institute of Technology. It was widely believed that neutrinos would originate from our galaxy. However, definitive evidence had been lacking until now, as he explains to NPR's Nell Greenfield Boyce. This realization emphasizes the significance of the recent discovery made by the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. Luigi Antonio Fusco, an astronomer from the University of Salerno in Italy who provided a perspective on the research, shares his thoughts on the momentous finding with Rahul Rao of Popular Science, describing it as a highly important revelation. Neutrinos, the most abundant particles with mass in the universe, are constantly passing through us. The Department of Energy states that tens of trillions of neutrinos from the sun traverse our bodies every second. However, these particles have acquired the moniker ghostly due to their minute mass, lack of charge, and their ability to traverse objects without interaction. This elusive nature has made neutrinos notoriously difficult to detect. Fortunately, the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory rises to the challenge. Comprising a cube-shaped structure with a kilometer-long side and housing 5,160 sensors, it is aptly named. The observatory captures light signals generated when neutrinos interact with the ice surrounding it, as explained by Liz Cruesi in National Geographic. A decade ago, IceCube Neutrino Observatory made a significant breakthrough by detecting evidence of neutrinos originating from distant galaxies, as reported by NPR. However, identifying neutrinos from our own galaxy posed a greater challenge. The detector had to be directed towards the southern skies, where the disk of the Milky Way is located. IceCube's position deep within the Antarctic ice ensured that observations of the northern skies were shielded by the Earth's mass blocking out unwanted particles. However, when looking towards the south, less of the Earth obstructed the view, making it difficult to isolate the desired signals. To address this obstacle, the research team employed machine learning techniques to recognize distinct bursts of light, resembling spheres, that arise from neutrino interactions with the ice. These events, known as cascade events, were meticulously identified by the program while analyzing a decade's worth of observational data. Through this approach, neutrinos originating from within the Milky Way were successfully pinpointed. Catherine Valerius, a physicist from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany who was not involved in the research, expresses her awe at this achievement, stating to Scientific American Stephanie Pappas, this is like a quantum leap to be able to say this has finally happened. People a few years ago cannot have imagined it would be done. As stated by National Geographic, the researchers have yet to determine the precise sources of the detected neutrinos. However, their goal is to unravel this mystery in the near future. In a statement from the observatory, Tabawada expresses the next step as identifying specific sources within our galaxy. According to the observatory's statement, Neutrinos are generated through interactions between cosmic rays, high-energy particles, and the gas and dust present in the galaxy. Tabawada tells NPR that these new findings can provide valuable insights into the origins of cosmic rays.